Okay, question four. Harrison Limited has been in the business of selling handcrafted timber furniture for over 40 years. All the sales are on credit to the local furniture retailers. Harrison has recorded the following items for 2011. Now he's got some items there and he says using the above data prepare a statement of cash flows for Harrison for the year ended 31st of December 2011. Okay so let's have a look. What do we need to do? We need to classify. Firstly we need to classify if it's cash or non-cash and then if it's cash we need to determine is it operating, investing or financing or is it cash balances. Okay, so let's have a look. Cash at the beginning of the year, that's a cash balance. Cash paid for the purchases of new equipment. What do we got there? Investing. Investing. What about cost of sales? Cash. Well, it doesn't actually say it's cash, so I'm just going to class this one as non-cash at the moment. It doesn't tell me it's cash. It's not purchases from a supplier or anything like that. Credit sales, non-cash as well. Depreciation on plant and equipment, non-cash. Yeah, depreciation is non-cash. Dividend payments, financing, I agree. Gain on the sale of old plants and equipment, non-cash. That's very well done. So it's a gain. We're looking for proceeds. So new loan from XYZ Bank. Financing. Paid suppliers. Now see this is why we didn't have cost of sales because we've got paid suppliers here. And that's my operating. Proceeds from the sale of the old plant and equipment. Investing, yep. Receipts from customers. Operating. Salaries paid operating and taxes paid. Operating. So we've done the hard work now. We just now need to create a cash flow statement. So what's the first thing I need to do in my cash flow statement? Heading. Heading, yep. So cash flow statement. For Harrison Timber. Uh, what are we looking for? For the year ended 30th, uh, no, what is it? 30, 30, 31st of December. So for year ended. Thirty first of December. Okay. Now let's do my operating cash flows first. So cash from operations. So my cash from operations. Uh, what's my first? I got paid suppliers. And my suppliers is 340,000 and that's a cash outflow. So I'm going to bracket it. Uh, what have I got? Receipts from customers. And that's 320,000 and through receipts is an inflow. I've got uh, salaries. And my salaries is 41,000 and salaries is a cash outflow. And I've got taxes. And my taxes is once again an outflow. So I've got 10,000. Does that cover all my operatings? Alright, so I don't confuse myself. I'm just going to tick these ones so that I know all my numbers will get ticked off eventually. So my taxes, so what have I got now? I've got uh, 340 minus 20 minus 61 minus 71. So I say minus, but it's outflow of 71. Let's, uh, let's have a look now. What do we want to do? We want to do financing or investing? Let's do investing. So 
So my investing activities. Okay, so what's my investing activity? Sales, sale of assets. My sale of assets has netted me $28,000. And that's a cash inflow. And is, uh, I've got a purchase of some cash equipment here. So purchase of assets. And purchase of an asset is outflow. I will tick that one off. And that gives me a positive cash flow in my investing activities of 13000 which will leave me with financing activities. Financing activities, new loan. I borrowed some money, which is an inflow of 100000 and I've got some dividend payments. Uh, how much did I say that was? 20000 So that ticked them all off. Yep, that just gives me the cash at the beginning. Okay, so I got dividends, and that was an outflow, so that gives me 80000 and it's a positive cash flow, so net cash flow. Uh, what have we got? 80, 93, 22,000 out, 22,000 positive cash flow. My cash at the beginning was 5,000, so my opening cash was 5,000. So therefore my closing cash position is 27,000, which is my net cash flow plus my opening cash position, 27,000. Now there'll be all, always, as always in our questions, there's, um, we want to uh, interpret something. Discuss the current cash flow situation and perspective and potential as a potential investor. So if I was looking at Harrison from a potential investor's point of view, what should I be looking at? So really what I'm talking about here is, is there any warning signs? Because I'm a potential investor, I don't want to lose my money. So what's my warning signs? My first warning sign is we've got a negative operating cash flow. That's my first warning sign. My second warning sign is that we're selling off our non-current assets here. I've sold $28,000 worth of assets. I've only purchased 15000 So I'm depleting my non-current assets. Now my non-current assets are the thing that make me money in my business. So selling non-current assets and the other warning that I need to look at is I've borrowed money here and I haven't purchased any assets. If I borrow money, it really should be for purchasing assets. What I borrowed the money for is to cover my lack of operations. So, borrowed money for operations. not for purchase of non-current assets. So as an investor, potential investor, I would not invest. As there's too many warning signs. Too many warning signs. 